Hey there! Are you looking for simple Christmas painting ideas? Watch my DIY canvas art tutorial coming next! Hey, I'm Natalie with Paws and Paint. On this channel, you get painting tutorials as well as art supply reviews. So if you haven't done so, subscribe. Just hit the subscribe button below and don't forget to hit the little bell so you get my notifications. Today, we paint this pretty Harlequin holiday girl holding a little bluebird. I hope you'll enjoy this step-by-step -step tutorial. Let's get started now. Now make sure you watch until the end of the video because I share my simple Christmas painting and decor idea. So for this painting you need to download your stencil and then you have your carbon paper. You have the link in the description below. For your brushes, all the exact sizes are in my description. Today are acrylics. We have blue, yellow, red, we have glitter paint, we have gold, white, titanium, unbleached titanium, and you'll need also a paint pen, gold, and a black. So today we're painting on an 11 by 14 stretch, stretched canvas. Uh, grab your red pen and secure your, um, your stencil onto your canvas and make sure you're carbon paper is underneath. Now trace over every single line. Before you remove your stencil and carbon paper, make sure all your lines are there. We're going to start with our background and grab some unbleached titanium. Just bring a little scoop in the middle and we're going to put a lot of water. I would say about five to maybe 10 drops of water in our paint and a little touch of glitter paint. Mix it really well and cover your entire background. You wanna make sure your paint is transparent enough for you to see your guidelines. So maybe add just a little bit of water onto your brush and go over it lightly. Now take a little piece of paper towel and dab a tiny bit of water on it. Make sure it doesn't drip. So remove the excess water. And we're gonna do a little bit of texturing onto our canvas. So just make a little ball and go over the entire surface. Now this creates a really cool texturing effect. Now we want this to dry really well. I have a cup of tea and I will continue with a gold outline. Take your one inch flat brush and load it with gold. And just loosely uh, go over the edges of the canvas. When I say loosely, it means you don't have to make it perfect. It's okay if the paint breaks up and you see the grain of the canvas. We're going to give it a second coat. I paint the sides of my canvas as well to make it a nice finished look. Now we do our second coat. And the sides are painted. Why don't we have a little bit more tea? Use our blow dryer to make everything nice and dry. Enjoy your tea. We are now going to paint the Harlequin red dress. So we start with the red paint on your medium angled brush. Paint inside 
all of the shapes. You can refer to the photograph on the video to show you where the red shapes are going and where the gold shapes will be so that you have that Harlequin pattern. Your angle brush is going to be great to do all those little shapes. Take your time and you can go over a second time to have a little bit more of an opaque look. Now we're going to go back with our small brush and pick up some black. We're going to create all the outlines. So I, I start with the face and I'm going to create all the outlines very carefully going over the lines. You can add a little bit of water to your paint to make it a little bit more fluid. That could be helpful. Lean your hand on the canvas so you have a nice and steady movement. We continue with the outline of the dress, all the details outlined in black. Keep the point of your uh, paintbrush nice and pointy, so twirl the paint to remove the excess so you don't have a, you know, a big blob of paint at the end. Take your time and do the face details. I did some nice long eyelashes and I, I go into the shapes to outline the Harlequin dress. I outline outside the shapes and now I do the nice big bow. Continue your outlines. This is the bottom of the dress. Now these shapes right there are going to be glitter. I mix a little bit of glitter, the, gl the gold glitter paint, with a little bit of unbleached titanium, just a little bit, and I add some gold paint. Now I'm going to use this color for the shape next to the red. So all the shapes to kind of create that Harlequin dress. I put quite a thick coat of uh, the glitter and gold paint. I'm, con I'm going to continue in a little while. I'm going to let this dry. Now I grab my medium angled brush, load it with white, and we're going to do those brush strokes at the bottom of her dress. So we start at the base of the flower and we give it a nice kind of curvy brush stroke movement towards the bottom of your canvas. So make sure you make your dress kind of fan out. So you start with one going one way, another one going the other way and kind of crisscrossing your brush strokes and the transparency of the paint gives you a nice kind of uh, transparent look to the bottom of your dress. Play with it until you, you're happy with it and make sure you don't bring your brush strokes all the way to the bottom of your canvas so you have a little bit of gold showing right there. Lift your brush when you're done with your brush stroke, kind of give it an upward motion to lift it up so that you have that transparency going on. A little bit more, you can add as you go. Take some titanium, unbleached titanium, and just give some quick brush strokes at the top, only at the top of the skirt just to give a little bit more texturing and transparency to it. One going one way, one going another, just to follow the motion of your skirt. Now you're going to grab some gold glitter paint and we continue to do the shapes. I actually clean my, I wash my, my brush 
I'm using my medium angled brush to finish up with the with the shapes. A little bit, a little bit at the bottom. You can see that I missed a few black outline, but no worries. I'll come back to it. So now I'm doing the flower shape. Very thick coats of glitter paint all over the flowers. We're going to detail the flowers after with a black pen, a paint pen. Cover your bow with paint. You can add a little bit more, kind of a second coat to make it a little bit more opaque and add more shine. And now I go onto the skirt and create a few brush strokes on top of my unbleached titanium just to again add another layer. We like those little sparkles. Feel free to add more. I'm going filling in little areas that I forgot. I'm going back I'm going back with my white using a small brush, my tiny brush. I'm adding blue, the pure blue to it. I'm creating a medium blue. And again, this is a very tiny brush and I'm doing the earrings, kind of star shaped earrings. Now I'm doing one of the ornaments on her brooch, blue. I'm adding a little bit of yellow to that blue to create a green. The next Chris, Christmas ball on her little brooch is green. Okay, now I forgot those little lines, so I'm filling up the little mist areas. But I forgot, this is her arm going behind her dress. Clean your brush, grab a little bit of gold, and I'm adding gold to the third little ornament on her brooch. Clean your brush, add a little bit of red paint. I'm still using my small brush and fill in those little lips. Make sure to keep the paint inside the guideline so she doesn't end up with too big of lips. We wanna keep it nice and small. Clean your brush, add some white, and now we're gonna do some highlights following her shoulders. There you go, a little bit more. Going down her arm. Adding more paint. I'm adding more down her shoulder. I'm gonna do a little, little detail on her neck right there. Inside the strand of hair and outside as well. Now I'm gonna put white inside my Harlequin dress. So all the little red shape I want to highlight and put a little bit of white. Makes it very animated, I love that. The last touches of white for me is so much fun. And sometimes when we do a little mistake, we can just put a little touch of white and it makes it all better. One more shape. You can add more. At the bottom of those shape. It's making that transition a little bit nicer. Going back into the skirt, adding little brush strokes and outside, just creating a little bit of movement. The other side. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> you can add more. Now I'm gonna add white inside my gold frame. 
just little brush strokes here and there. Don't overthink it, just make it look nice and bright. We're brightening up the bottom of the dress, little dots here and there. Dot, dot, dot with our little, very little small brush. Now we're gonna create a pink, a very light pink, and we're gonna do her cheeks. I really like that color. I'm gonna add a little bit in the arms. I'm adding a little bit more red first to uh, darken my pink a little bit. And then I want to add a little bit of, of blue to make a, a very light purple. Add a little bit, very little touch of blue. It's giving us a very light purple. This is an accent color that we're gonna add again in the shape of the dress. Little lines. I like how that color really pops on the red. A little bit on the arms again. Pick one side, not on both sides. A little on top, on her neck, and then just little brush strokes next to the white. I'm adding a little bit of that light purple in my frame. A few lines at the bottom, little brush strokes going up and down kind of to define the skirt. Now I'm adding a little bit of white with my tiny brush inside her earrings. Now I'm creating a very light blue for my bird. So just a little bit of white and add a touch of blue in it. You want a very pale blue and you're gonna cover the entire bird. Now add some darker blue and we're gonna do little details, little feathers going down. Just brush strokes, little wispy brush strokes. Very light. Just play with your brush strokes and make a nice little soft bird, little soft look. And then that little piece on top. Now we're gonna clean our brush. Add a tiny bit, very little bit of white. I'm sorry, black. <laughs> And we're gonna go over those little pieces on top of his head just to define them a little bit more. Tiny brush. Again, we're gonna continue to do some little wispy feathers with the darker color with our black. It's black with mixed with a little bit of blue. And outline our bird a little bit. And finish up with the details. We're gonna do the little beak. And the eye. Add a tiny bit of white to that little eye right there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more black because we kind of lost it a little bit. With the white, I also put some details, little brush strokes to give, a, give me that feather look. A little dot of, of black to finish the eye. Now we're gonna do a green, a little bit of yellow and add a touch of blue. Always more yellow to create the green and we're gonna finish up that nice brooch that she's wearing. So you do little brush strokes right over your guidelines to create the little pine needles. This is very spontaneous. Just go over your guidelines. There we go. Now 
uh, I kind of want to add a little bit more black to define our hair. So I'm just adding one more strand and I'm going to curl it up over her shoulder. Last minute add on. <laughs> That's the thing with us artists. Always want to change something or add something. Now add a little bit of white inside the ornaments to make them shine. Now I noticed I had a few little marks on my canvas. This was a little too thick right there, the arm. So I added some unbleached titanium on my brush and a little touch right there just to fix a little mistake. Now I want to use my angled brush to flicker some paint onto my canvas. So I added about 10 drops of water into some white paint and I just load my brush and with my index finger kind of just flicker 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 see how those little dots are appearing you can add as much or or as little as you want I kind of kept it on her dress and a little bit around I didn't go over uh, her face I didn't want any flicker on her face so it's just mostly to kind of give a, a nice little frosty look or a little snow almost look to her dress I just load my brush again with that white make sure to have enough water and flicker the paint there we go I'm happy with that okay now we have our paint pen it's acrylic paint pen and we're gonna do some details in that bow and finish up those flowers make sure it's working we have the paint at the tip and just do a few lines to uh, define your bow. And now we're gonna do those beautiful flowers. Just go over them. Kind of a little swirl look. And this really makes our dress look finished. Last one. This is fun, I love the acrylic Pen. I'm going to also fix a few lines that disappeared behind the paint just to tidy up a little bit. I don't go over all my lines. I like that my brush stroke, my brush strokes uh, give me like a broken up brush strokes and I see the, the grain of the canvas. I wouldn't want it to be too uh, perfect with the, the pen. So now we're going to sign our artwork. I'm signing with a gold paint pen at the bottom right there. I sign my first name. You can sign your initial or your first name, first and last name. So we're done with our painting and I know just what to do with it. I hope you enjoyed painting our little Harlequin holiday girl uh, holding that little bluebird. I really think she's cute and I'm gonna hang her up in my living room. So why don't you come along and I'll show you a few tips how to do a little quick decoration to lighten up a small wall in your living room. We're gonna create a nice holiday decor. Well, a start anyway. I have a shiny Christmas tree right there and um, I just removed one of the darker paintings in my living room and put my new painting up. I might get a frame later but for now I do like the gold frame. Nice little shiny light. I love to light candles all year long but during the holidays especially with those nice scents of apple and apple pie oh it's so nice i'm happy with this i hope you put your painting up as well so hey if you want to watch more of my holiday painting tutorials you can go right here or you can watch any other painting tutorials that youtube recommend for you right here see you soon until then stay creative bye